Welcome to the Jive Connects for Microsoft SharePoint video series. I'm John Underwood, Technical Evangelist at 3Will, and this time I'm going to be talking about widgets. Now, first of all, what is a widget? Well, in the Jive world, a widget is a user configurable control. Users may place these on a page and customize their appearance and their behavior in order to convey some information in the Jive environment. One might use this as an example to show recent content or top rated content. Now, in the context of the Jive Connects for Microsoft SharePoint product, there are also a series of SharePoint aware widgets. As you would expect, these behave like a Jive widget, but instead of showing data from Jive, these actually present information that originates from a SharePoint site. Now, of the three available widgets, the first that I'm going to show you is the SharePoint Calendar widget. As the name suggests, this displays a SharePoint calendar in Jive. So let's have a look at the calendar widget in action. As you can see, I've created a custom list named Project Dates. If I navigate to the list settings page, you can see that it contains a description column, which is just the title column renamed, a task start, which is a date field, and a task end, which is also a date field. I've already created a calendar view for this list, and if I apply the view, you can see that the list renders as a calendar. Now, I'll switch to Jive and show the SharePoint calendar widget in action. First, I'll customize the home page for our Acme group in Jive. Next, I'll select the Other category of widgets. This is where the SharePoint related widgets can be found. In this case, I'm using the SharePoint calendar widget, so I'll select it and then drag it to the middle section of the page. Obviously, the widget needs to know which list or calendar to show, so I'll accomplish that in this case by providing the name of the list, Project Dates, and also by providing the name of the view, Project Dates Calendar. Now, the SharePoint Calendar widget also knows how to render in a narrow column, so if I select it and drag the widget once again, in this case dragging it to the rightmost column, I can provide the same settings, the calendar name and the view name, and it will render in day at a time format that is appropriate for a narrow column. Once I'm satisfied with my changes, I can publish them and then all of the group members may access the updated page. The SharePoint list widget presents information from a SharePoint list in the Jive environment. It provides an easy way to reference the contents of a SharePoint list while carrying out other Jive socialization activities. As with the SharePoint Calendar widget, it is able to support views defined on the list in SharePoint. Let me show you how it works. As you can see, I'm using the standard tasks list on a SharePoint team site. I've added several tasks, I've assigned one to myself, and I've assigned the others to my coworkers. Now I'll navigate to the Jive environment and customize my group page once again. In the list of available widgets, I'll select the SharePoint list widget and then I'll drag it to the center of the page. Once it's on the page, I'll give it a new title and I'll tell it which list to display, in this case, the tasks list from our SharePoint site. Having completed the settings, I'll publish the changes and now all tasks display on the group page. Suppose, however, I wanted to display just the tasks for a particular user. Well, SharePoint does provide that capability through something called a filtered view. And the good news here is that the SharePoint list widget can take advantage of that capability. So once again, I'll customize the page. I'll edit the list widget. And this time, I'm going to include a view named My Tasks. This view gets created automatically in a SharePoint team site. And it includes a filter to show only the tasks assigned to the currently logged in user. I'll save the changes on the widget and I'll publish the page, and upon completion, you'll see that the page only displays my tasks. If one of my coworkers were to visit this page, they'd see only the tasks assigned to them. The last of our three widgets is the SharePoint Sites widget. It is by far the simplest, and it exists to provide navigation from Jive back to the site where we're getting our socialized content from. As you can see on the screen, it provides a convenient hyperlink that will allow a user to navigate directly to the SharePoint site. In the case of a socialization scenario where we have subsites, those socialized subsites would also show on this control. <music>